First, left click on this button to start the Chopper Inverter Control application. In this new window, select the function you want to use, in our case, Boost Chopper, under the Function selection. Just under, the Function settings lists every customizable feature of this function. Switching frequency, up to 20,000 Hz. Command input, knob or analog input 1. Duty cycle, acceleration and deceleration time for smoother command variation. Q4, the switching transistor. You can choose PWM or always on or off for troubleshooting. Status indicates if the function is started or not. And there are also the two knobs here to adjust duty cycle and frequency. And finally, the start stop button to control the function. As for every function, here is the electrical diagram and the show connection button to help you with the connection of the hardware equipment if necessary. For this demonstration, I will use the analog input 1 to control the duty cycle instead of the knob that I usually use. To control the boost chopper, I will use the analog output 1 of the 9063 directly connected in back of the 9063 through the analog input 1. Please refer to the video about analog output and data table for more information. Please note that the duty cycle knob and duty cycle line here disappear since I'm not using them. When your equipment is correctly connected, start the application. On the scope, the yellow curve is the input voltage at AB. The blue curve is the output voltage at CD, and the purple curve is the PWM signal sent to Q4, observed here and shown on the scope through analog input 2. Using the knob in the analog output 1 window, I can vary the duty cycle applied to Q4. As you see, increasing the value here makes the output voltage go over the input voltage, as expected for a boost chopper. If I increase the frequency here, more cycles per division appear, which proves that the frequency is going up. This is how you get a fully working boost chopper ready for some labs.